Hi, my name is Maury Reese. In this video, I'm going to show you how I have greatly expanded the music capabilities of my Tyros uh, keyboard, which is made by Yamaha. And I did that by adding new styles into it. My keyboard came with 539 styles, and each style has four variations, and I'm going to show this to you in just a moment. And of course, I can change it into any key. So that gives me a total of 25,870 different styles at different speeds and rhythms and different keys that I could play all together. But sometimes you want to play a certain song and you just cannot find a style that fits. This is, this is true of a lot of, of songs. What makes them special is they're so unique in the instruments that they use or the rhythms that they use to combine those instruments. So for those uh, millions of you out there watching that have never touched a Tyros, I want to start by just briefly going through and showing you what do I mean when I say a style. So it's got 529 of them, 39, and they are organized into 11 areas. I'm going to play just a little bit of uh, some of the styles so that you understand what do I mean when I say a style. And I'm going to start with uh, pop and rock. So I've got a style set up here and it's called beach rock. And it starts out very simply. That's version A. And then if I press a key, it's a little more complicated. And now here's version C. And here's version D. Okay, uh, let's do something a little more. Uh, how about, I always wanted to be a rock and roll star. I haven't made it, probably won't. This is as close as I can come. So here I am in a stadium, a big anthem. as close as I'll ever get to being a rock and roll star. So that's a rock and roll. And there are uh, about 110 different styles like that in rock and roll. Let me change categories. Um, here is something called uh, ballad. Uh, let's see. Let me play this. So it starts off. Real. Just a guitar, electric piano. It's a little more complicated. Here's version C. Version D. Okay, let me go with uh, choose another one. This is called Evergreen. I like this. C. Version D. Back to C. Back to 
to be. Back to A. So every style has four versions. All right, let's move into, uh, this is dance, and a lot of this is uh, uh, what I call uh, techno stuff. That's A. That's B, C. Version D. New song. No dance. Uh, let's change categories. Um, this is swing and jazz. Uh, this is fun. Love this sound. Swing and jazz. Let's change it to uh, rhythm and blues and uh, a little rhythm and blues acoustic blues guitar. Oops, not what I want. I want this one. So the style starts off just a, a bass and a little, uh, da, a little guitar in it. And then it gets a little more complicated. Here's version B. Added that thumping bass into the bottom. Then here's C. And finally version D. And uh, Okay, that's country. Uh, one of my favorite is uh, Latin, a little uh, cha-cha. called pop cha-cha and there's four versions and they get more complicated so 
Each style is like having a, a little band, and it follows me. It plays whatever chord I want in whatever rhythm I'm in, and it just follows my chord. So it's like having a little five or ten member band that's backing me up, playing whatever I want it to play in whatever key, in whatever rhythm I choose. All right, let's look at the ballroom. Okay, have a little Vienna. <laughs> How about, this is called Movie and Show. And uh, I'm going to start with uh, something very classical, a string adagio. Listen to the instruments. And here's version B. D. Love those. Um, here's a Barack Concerto, something a little faster. Change the key. <laughs> There are 10 different instruments in this left hand, all working together, playing in whatever key I play on the keyboard. All right, let's go to um, World. Here's a popular song a few years ago. That's A. C. D. idea. Oh, how about a uh, little river dance? So 
Those are the built-in styles. There's 539, four variations, 12 keys for 25,000 different combinations. But every now and then I come across a song and I put over 200 songs up on YouTube in the last six years. I come across a song I want to do and I just cannot find any style that works. And you know, sometimes if you don't have the right music style, you can't fake it. So I'm going to play a little bit of six songs where I have gone out on the internet and for free, I have found the right style that works with the song that I want to play. So bear with me while I set up the first one here. Ready? One, two, three. Now what I want to do is I want to give you some samples of custom styles that I have downloaded over the years. And the first one is a uh, Pink Floyd. Going all the way back to 1979. And some man or woman sat down at their keyboard and spent hours creating the style. And this is what it sounds like. They chose the right hand instruments for me too. Here's version B. Version C. no way I could play that song with the styles that are built into it. I had to go and find a unique style written specifically for that song. All right, let's move along to another one. This is a 1994 song. By a composer by the name of Angelus, Conquest of Paradise. And uh, this uses drums, lots of drums. Once again, there's no way any of the styles that I have would do that. They also developed the voice. Custom style, some man or woman spent hours at their keyboard creating that style, put it up on the website, and guys like me download it and use it. Let's move along. This is a uh, 1964 song by the Animals. And once again, it's that unique combination of instruments and timing that make the style unique. And most of the popular songs you and I like, the, the style behind them is unique. And whoever created this style also created a wonderful intro. So here is the 1964 song by the Animals, House of the Rising Sun. <laughs> Versions. Version B.
dear instruments in there. House of the Royalism Sun. All right, how about a little Rolling Stones? Okay. Then going all the way back to 1965, I was in the Navy and nuclear power school back in 65. This is a song, it is so unique that within five notes, five notes, you will know what it is. Get no satisfaction. Custom style be hard to play that song without that style behind it. Uh, let's go to uh, Leonard Skinner. Once again, there are nine different instruments that whoever created this style worked together, and uh, they also created a wonderful introduction. So here's Sweet Home Alabama by Leonard Skinner. This is the intro. It's all there. That's the intro. Nine instruments they had to put together to create that. And here comes my part. Wonderful style. Be impossible to play that song with anything other than that, I think. Well, you could try, but it just wouldn't make it. Finally, let me go back to the Rolling Stones. Um, a 1968 song, Sympathy for the Devil. And once again, whoever created this style created the perfect intro. Notice how it builds. Now the bells, cowbells. Can't have too many cowbells. <laughs>
Sympathy for the Devil, Custom Style. So those are six custom styles that I have downloaded over the years. And the point I want to make is sometimes to do justice to a song, you have to have the right style. Fortunately, there are tens of thousands of styles out there on the internet. The question is, can you find them? And do you have the wherewithal to pull them into your keyboard? Here we are on my Macintosh, and I'm going to show you where I go to get these free styles, and I will explain exactly how I get them off of the internet and into my keyboard. Let me start with the big picture. This is a list of all of the synthesizers and keyboards and workstation that Yamaha has introduced over the last 18 years going all the way back to 2002 when they introduced the first Tyros 1. And through the years, they have introduced all of these different keyboards and th synthesizers, a total of 24 altogether. This happens to be my keyboard, the Tyros 5, which was introduced in 2013. Now, all of these synthesizers and keyboards have two things in common. Number one, they all use something called styles. And these are simply little files that I load into my synthesizer and produces the music I want. The other thing they all have in common is they all have a USB connector. That means that if I can store a file on this USB, I can load that into my keyboard. For example, I have an 8 gigabyte thumb drive that I plug into my keyboard, which begs the question, so how many styles could I hold on that one 8 megabyte or 8 gigabyte drive? And the answer is, I can hold about 120,000 styles. Think of it. 120,000 styles. My keyboard came with 539 styles. So that it's a staggering amount. All right. I can go out on the internet and I can buy styles. Here, for example, this is the Yamaha website and they will sell me styles and they cost anywhere from $4 to $8 a style. But I'm not interested in that. Or there are dozens of websites out there that will let me buy styles. And I can come over here and I can say, look, I have a Tyros 5. And it will sort through all of the styles and just show me the ones that work in my keyboard. Here's a style that cost uh, $1.50. This one cost $2. Here's $100. This is a whole package full of styles. Um, here's, uh, for $20, here's a collection of Christmas styles. Here's a big one, $132 for a huge collection of styles. Okay, so you can buy styles. I'm not interested in that. I have never, ever spent a penny buying a style. Here's the one thing you want to write down. I am going to take you to the place where I find my free styles, and it's on a website psrtutorial.com. That's the location of where I am going to go and have gone to get my free styles. Okay, here we go. I'm going to launch it. So you are now looking at PSR Tutorial. And I'm not going to explain everything here. You can come here yourself and look around. Here is where I want to go with you. I want to go up here to Styles. So I'm going to click on Styles. Ready? Click. Now once again, there's a bunch of buttons that I can go to. I am interested in something called the Collections. So I'm going to click on that. Ready? Click. Now, over here on the left are the names of men and women who have made it their business to create or modify or collect styles. And they have put their collection of styles up here on this web page. And guys like me and you 
are able to come here and download their styles for free. I want to just read this paragraph because it says it all. Any experienced Yamaha enthusiast knows that there are thousands of styles available from many sources on the internet. Some users spend a good deal of time collecting these styles. Other users like to tune up styles, perhaps originated on other keyboards, for use on the PSR. This section holds a number of these style collectors, as well as converted or special purpose styles. All told, you will find over 63,000 styles in this section. So thanks to these men and women over here, I have access to over 63,000 styles, and every one of them is free. I'm going to take you inside just three people, just so you can see what this looks like. And I'm going to start here with uh, Chris. Click. Chris has a picture of himself, and he tells me a little bit about him. So here is uh, some styles for the Tyros 4, and there are 1,150 in this collection alone. And if you, if, if you look closely, it's a ballad, dance, Latin, ballroom. So here's 1,100. Down here, here's another 499. Down here's another 594. Here is a huge collection of 2,657. He created these way back when for the Tyros 1. Guess what? All of us guys that bought keyboards since then, we can use all of his styles. So thanks to Chris, I have access to 4,900 of the styles that he has created over the years. Let me take you to another guy. Let's go look at John Vernon. Click. Now, John has categorized his. Uh, C is for Charleston, D is for dance, P is for Paso, R is for rock. Look right here. Here are 2,869 styles just contained in this box alone. In the next box, there are 4,797 different styles. I'm going to click on them in just a moment, but bear with me. Here's another 2,000 styles. So altogether, John has created 9,756 styles, and I am free to click and download any and all of them at no cost to me. Here's the champion, Henny. Here's some for a Tyros 5. Uh, here are 550 styles for the new Genos. Here's 400 styles for this. Uh, here's 200 styles, 800 styles, 400. You get the idea. Look at here. Just in this box alone, there are 2,279 styles that he has created. Here's another 2,045. And it goes on and it goes on. And here's another 300, here's another 500, another 400, 300, 232, 441, 262. Bear with me. Look at this. These are Vietnamese and Chinese music. He has 2,717 styles just categorized as Vietnamese and Chinese. And then down below is another 404. If you add them all up, and I did... Henny has created 11,943 styles by himself. Now, I'm going to back way back at the top. All right. Here we are at 550 styles created for the Genos. Even though it's newer than my keyboard, I can still use all of its styles. So this is what I'm going to do, just so you see how this works. I'm going to download three of these collections. I'm going to start over here with Latin. So all I do is put my mouse on the word Latin, and when I click on it, I want you to watch what happens. Ready? Click. Did you see something? Did you see a little icon that seemed to jump off of that? 
I'll show you where it goes in just a moment. Let's do it again. Let's download the 30 styles of movie and show. Ready? Now watch. Click. Boing. And just for fun, let's download his 25 rock and roll styles. Ready? Click. Boing. Where is that thing going? It's going down here into my download folder. So here's the point. With one click of my mouse, I pull this entire collection of, of rock or movies and show. The whole folder full of styles has been downloaded off of the internet and is now stored inside the download file in the hard drive of my Macintosh. So I've got them to my Mac. That's the first part. Let me leave now the website. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my USB thumb drive. Looks like that. Okay. And I'm going to insert it into my Macintosh. On the edge of my keyboard, there's a USB. So I am about to plug in a USB drive into my Macintosh. Ready? I know you can't see me. Trust me, I'm doing it. I just stuck it in there. Now I'm watching my screen. Here it is. It just popped up. That is a little two gigabyte thumb drive that has now been attached to my Macintosh. Here are the three folders of files. And let me open up one just to show you what it looks like. Click, click. It's hard to read, so I'm going to ask it to give that to me as a list. These are all of the styles inside that folder. Okay? And notice this. They're, um, they're tiny little files. 64K, 51K, 88K. That's why I can store 120,000 of these on an 8 gigabyte drive. These styles are tiny little files. They don't amount to anything at all. Okay, bear with me here. All right, so here are the files sitting in my download folder on the hard drive of my Mac. Here is the thumb drive that I have inserted into my Mac. So I'm going to pick up these files and drop them on that thumb drive. There's one. There's one. There's one. So what I'm doing is I am transferring from the hard drive of my Macintosh onto this thumb drive because I'm going to take this thumb drive in just a moment and I'm going to plug that into my Tyros keyboard and that's how I get the files from the internet into my Tyros keyboard. All right. If I open this up, click, click. There are the three folders, okay? Latin, movie and show, rock and roll. So that's it. It's that easy. Very quickly, once again, I go to Styles. I go to Collection. I go to uh, one of the collectors that I want to. I click, click, and it bounces and downloads into my hard drive and then I just drag it onto the thumb drive. That's the sum total of the complexity of how do I get the files off of the internet and into my keyboard. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the Mac and I'm going to go back to the keyboard. What I want you to see is, but how do I get the files loaded into my keyboard if they're sitting on that thumb drive. That's so here we are. I have downloaded the styles off of the internet, pulled them into the hard drive of my computer, and I've transferred them to this thumb drive. Now I'm going to insert the thumb drive into my keyboard. And the minute I do, I get a message. Device is connected. So it has, it is now looking at my thumb drive. 
And let me back it up just a moment. Here are the three folders that we downloaded off of the internet. Remember, Latin, movie of show, and rock. So let me select Latin. I have three pages. I have 30 file of 30 styles of Latin. And I simply press the button next to it to select one. So now that I've selected it, let me just play it for you. I'll play all four versions, A, B, C, and D, because remember, whoever created this style created four versions. Here's the first one. Starts off kind of simple. Here's the second one. A little more complex. Here's style C. That's it. So I started on the internet with styles, transferred them to a thumb drive, and my keyboard can look inside the thumb drive and recognize all of the files, and I simply select the one that I want. It's that simple. And so now you've seen how I have downloaded thousands of styles in my Tyros keyboard. I haven't paid a penny for any of them. I've done nothing illegal. These were all given away free by the people that created them. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Thanks for watching my video. And be well.